All right, you guys, I'm super excited. I'm gonna finally get to shoot the suppressor, the uh, Ultra 7 made by Thunder Beast. But before we do that, we changed the muzzle brake out. And yesterday I got a perfect bullseye where I wanted cold bore shot. Uh, so we'll try another first round cold bore shot. I went back to the Harris bipod that I'm borrowing from Ray till my at real Atlas shows up. But I'm gonna take the suppressor off and then do that cold bore shot just to show um, how much of a difference that changing a muzzle brake by itself can do. I know we've changed a few out before in the past on some ARs and it's it was drastic. There was one, I can't remember the manufacturer, but just changing out nothing but a muzzle brake completely changed the zero and I mean it was a lot. So hopefully it's not too much. So we'll have fun and see what happens. I did confirm, I torqued down uh, basically the chassis again because I knew the zero is not going to be perfect so now that uh, we're trying to get everything to perfect all everything's torqued to the specifications and uh, the only difference now really is the muzzle brake so let's see what happens let's get this off first <laughs> a minute but I just want to give you a heads up Load the bipod. Bottom target. Hey, do you want a uh, velocity or no? No. No, I don't. Then hold up. Don't shoot. Just hold up. That brake will kill that thing right there beside of it. Oh, got it. Let's tighten this up a little. Let's try to get the best shot possible. Going up. It's right on the first inner ring. No, so it's still on the in the one inch. Yeah, I said it'd probably still hit the pasty, but it'd be on the edge. But we did generate. No, we didn't generate any more velocity, but it is a hair high, so it'd be a half inch high of center. It's a smaller break, less weight hanging off of there too. Yeah, true. That one definitely does weigh less. A lot, lot less. Yeah. Good. Maybe with the the can and that on there, it'll be the same, and it'll be a perfect zero. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> all right so i'll uh i'll show you footage somewhere right here and it's uh basically if this was the bullseye it just was a hair high to the uh like 12 30 ish they'll see it you'll see it all right that's cool it ain't it's not crazy off <sighs> No, you're good. I'm just trying to get this set up because we want this for your suppressor. I think McCoy's going to come by. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he wants to zero his uh, red dot on his pistol. All right, so your average yesterday was 26.39. Yes. <sighs> Try to get a little closer to the suppressor to the right if you can. All right, first time shooting the Thunder Beast.
It's on the edge of the pasty right at 330. Right above that, so the group is good so far, but it has shifted uh, right about. Got any it. velocity at all? That's from my last one, wasn't it? That's one's 2717. Yeah, hold what you got. Okay. I know it won't be a great group, but right now we're trying to figure out this stuff. True. <laughs> yeah, that's showing shot four. Yeah. Do we need to clear shot four? How many have I shot? Three? Well, I haven't shot anything yet. Hold on, let me clear this. Hands off the rifle. We're gonna go. Yes, we're going to create a new series. This will be all you. Series two. Okay. <clears throat> it is definitely a little louder. You can hear a little pop at the end that you normally don't hear with this one. But it's not crazy loud. It's still hearing safe in my opinion. You can just definitely hear that pop. Yeah, you hear something. Way better than uh none. <laughs> Way better than uh for that one. Alright. See if I can get back on this target. Six forty nine, it did increase it to the average. Yes, it's that guy. Let me get two. Twenty six forty nine. Yeah, you're down to 26. Got it again. Yes, it's 36. Well, give me an increase on that mark. Maybe 5, 10 feet per second. Got one more. Take your time. Got it. Give me that. 50. Give me the end of that. Very consistent velocity. That'll be a low FD. Very low FD. What's your group look like? Eh, I've shot better. It's not bad, but it's over to the right of here. Yeah. So a, there was a little shift. A little shift with the and the suppressor. Oh, of course. There, I've yeah. never not seen a shift. But it went right. It went to the 3 o'clock. Yep, it happens. Yeah. But now I know. Uh with and without. Yeah, I think straight up, no suppressor. It was up a hair. Add the weight a little bit, but it doesn't really bring it down. It brings it just a hair to the three. Pulls right. over. So we're done with this. All right, so let's go down there and see what we got. All right, you guys. So the cold bore shot with the new brake. No, yeah, the new brake. Almost said with the new suppressor. It is a little bit high. I'd say it's right at one o'clock. Still within the one inch. Oops, where's the camera at? Still within the one inch. And then I did a five shot group. Uh, actually six shots, I believe. Six shots with the suppressor. Just having a little fun seeing where the changes are. So standard deviation was pretty neat. Pretty close, I put it all in there. You guys will see that. But uh, with standard deviation, if it's pretty close, you're getting lines that are flat this way instead of uh you know crawling up and down depending on that so remember we are just shooting at 100 yards so nothing magical 
Hope you enjoy.